Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Vargas and today we are going to do a look using the Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro palette just because her Tahiti one came out. So I guess in celebration of that, and I did get it by the way, if you're wondering, I did order it. But in celebration of that, I decided to go ahead and like play with the palette a little bit since it's been a long time since I dipped into it and I created this look right here so if you want to see how I created this look just keep on watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you like the video and yeah let's get into it so getting right into the video I'm starting off by taking the shade reckless and persuasion dabbing my brush into both of those shades and I'm just gonna blend this on my crease I'm just using a mini beige cosmetic brush. I just came in one of their brush sets, but it has been discontinued. So, yeah, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find something similar to it. It's just a mini blending brush. So, I'm going to build this color up as to as dark as it can be. So, as you guys can see here, I build it up a pretty good amount. Then, I'm taking the shade in Lust, and I'm just going to use this shade to blend out the purple that we have going on and diffuse it a little bit then i'm taking the shade keen and i'm gonna start blending that a little bit on top of the in lush shade and doing that will create a very beautiful vibrant orange that you guys can literally see going on right here literally takes the look to another level it's absolutely stunning and by the way i am using the same brush for all of these shades i absolutely love this brush it's one of my go-to's for looks like this then i'm just going back into all of the shades and just re-intensifying and blending and my top priority is making sure that that burgundy shade that we have on the crease is vibrant so i'm going over a couple of times making sure that the pigment didn't go away there then i'm just going in with the equate eye makeup remover and a q-tip and just removing some of that burgundy shade just to help us when we do our cut crease then i'm going in with the shade lights out and mood and i'm just going to focus these two shades on the outer corner right there right where the cut crease ends and I'm just using a pencil brush from the It's My Ray Ray collection by Beige Cosmetics. Then I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand to cut my crease. And doing the Q-tip method actually makes this process easier because you're just basically following the gap that you left um, with the Q-tip. So if it's something that you struggle with, like cut creases, I do recommend doing this. Now I'm taking a flat brush and just patting down the concealer because we are about to put some color down so we don't want any creases and we just want it to be the right amount of tacky. Now I'm taking the shade Pillow Talk, Reckless Persuasion, and Keen and that's going to go all over our cut crease. So I'm going to start off by taking the shade Pillow Talk and putting that on the entire cut crease. This is just what makes it easier for me. And then I'll focus on um, the other shades. Right now, I'm just taking the shade Mood and Lights Out and just blending up the edges of that cut crease just to make it easier for the shades that I'm about to put down. Now, I'm taking the shade Reckless and Persuasion. It's the two shades that we use in the beginning of this look. And I'm just going to start blending that near the Mood and Lights Out shade. Then I'm just going to blend out the Keen next to the Reckless and Persuasion shade. Hopefully it all makes sense when you guys see it on the video. It is a lot, I know. Then I do repeat this process about five times before I'm happy with how it is. So just go ahead and redo it until you're happy with the blend. Then I popped on some lashes, did a couple of sprays from my e.l.f. coconut spray. 
then for primer i'm using the professional by benefit this gives you a nice clean canvas and i do have a lot of pores and oiliness on my nose so this primer is perfect for me then i'm going with my go-to guys i know i gotta expand my foundation you guys seen this in every video i am sorry but i'm going in with my stay naked in 50w by urban decay then i'm taking this beauty sponge that you guys seen in my ulta haul i got it from marshall's i got like a set of two for three dollars and guys i'm actually surprised like this works so well like you guys can actually see for yourself here it blends this foundation out amazing so i kind of want to go back and see if i can find a couple of more because for the price it's really a steal now for concealer i'm just taking my maybelline age rewinder in the shade light i believe just putting that under my eyes forehead nose and chin you guys know the drill and i'm just using the same sponge to blend it out Then I'm just using my collab powder to set my under eyes and this powder has been my go-to ever since I bought it. I've used it every single day. It gives you a nice soft blurring effect as well as brightening your eyes. As you guys can see here, literally brighten my under eye and I'm using it on my chin, nose and forehead as well. And you can get this powder at Sally's Beauty if anyone's wondering then to set the rest of my face i'm just taking my makeup revolution bacon blot in the shade banana light with a bh cosmetics powder brush also from the it's my rary collection and just using that to set my face then i'm going in with the essence bronzing palette and i'm taking the first two shades and using that to bronze up my skin I was going to use the Catrice one that they came out with. I believe it's called the Sungasm. But you guys know that this one has been my go-to. I've talked about it. I've raved about it. And since I was actually kind of feeling the look, I was just like, nope. Then I have going to go in with my, my Bellini on this palette one. by Beige Cosmetics, I'm going to take a combination of the first and the last shade, blend them together, and just pop them on my cheeks. And I'm just using a contour brush by Morphe right here. Then going in with my collab powder and just cleaning up the bronzer and the blush just to make it sharp. Then working on the bottom lash line, I just went in with Persuasion, Reckless, and Keen. Starting off by taking these first two shades, Reckless and Persuasion, and just building that on my bottom lash line, then blending it out with Keen. Then for mascara, going in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, adding a couple coats to my bottom lashes. Then for lips, I'm taking a NYX liner and a Maybelline lipstick. Oh my god, I cannot remember the names, but I will leave it in the description bar. And just applying that to my lips. To be honest, this is a little too pink for this look. And I wanted it to be more like nude orange. But guys, I was so lazy right here. I just wanted to finish the video. So I just went ahead and I was like, maybe they won't notice. Maybe. Maybe. 
then to complete this look i went in with the morphe setting spray and i am done i put my hair down and this will complete the finished look thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys